Yeah, another tough loss for Sweden. You can see how hard it is to hit the players here. Magdalena Eriksson of Chelsea in tears as she walked through the mix zone. Uh, I'm very disappointed, of course. Uh, there's a lot of emotions at the moment. Uh, an extreme disappointment, but it's a tough one to take because I think we we started the game really strong and really well and we, we could have been one or two nil up after 20 minutes. And when you don't score, when you don't take your chances, when you don't when you don't score, when you have momentum, it's, it's tough, it's difficult. The timings of their goals, their two first goals are, are really crucial for them in, the, in this game. Um, and it just became too much uh, of a challenge for us once it was 2-0. The result, obviously 4-0, but there really isn't that much between the two teams, is there? No, that's the feeling and that's, that's what frustrates me so much is that we did everything that we have spoken about doing in those first 30 minutes of the game. Uh, but then it just wasn't enough and, and I don't know why, uh, but we've been through a lot as a team throughout this tournament. Everything hasn't been all smooth for us. Uh, and, and with that in consideration, I think I'm really proud of the way we we handled the game. Uh, although the, the result, of course, it's too much and it's not good good enough if you concede four goals. Max, how good is this England team after you just came up against them? They're absolutely in a flow at the moment. You can tell things are going their way. Um, they are playing like a team, which is really impressive. I think they definitely have chances of going all the way uh, and the final is, is going to be a really good final because they play really good football.